Meanwhile, the futsal whites are in preparation mode for next year's FIFA World Cup in Uzbekistan, qualifying for the first time after winning last month's Oceania Nations Cup. And as Kate Wells explains, the team have a lot of work to do if they want to compete with the top nations. The futsal whites are still getting used to having this in their trophy cabinet. It's a nice one to have. We haven't had our fingers on it um, before. And I guess what's the meaning behind the trophy is probably a lot more, which is that ticket to the World Cup. New Zealand winning the Oceania Nations Cup for the first time, beating Tahiti 5-0 in the decider. The futsal whites have done it. Scenes of absolute jubilation in the New Zealand camp. To me, obviously, I've been trying for 13 years. I think my first one was 2011. For the rest of the boys, it's been some of them eight years. We've been working so hard for it for so long that oh, it was a very emotional time for, for everyone and everyone was just really happy. The victory bittersweet for coach Marvin Eakins, previously a futsal white himself. It did have a moment where I was like, thank God, we, we've done it. Um, the team's done it and I was kind of a little bit jealous in a way. When I started playing, actually, he was, he was the captain. Um, so I think for him, it's, it's wonderful that he, he can be involved as a coach and lead this team forward. The aim now to go from being qualifiers to competitive. New Zealand the first to book a ticket behind hosts Uzbekistan in the 2014 tournament. We'll have a couple of camps throughout the year. We, we already kind of train uh, sort of fortnightly. So the harder part is how do we connect with those players that are overseas and in different environments. World Cup qualification means a financial boost from FIFA. Although that amount hasn't been disclosed, it'll ensure a valuable build-up. Any kind of resource that helps um, the players be supported, helps us get international games in the lead and will be critical to kind of that success. Hoping to kick into gear come September. Kate Wells, One News.